Hello again, everybody. I am here at the Kelly's Ferry Cemetery, and I am checking it out with my buddy, Alex. He's my Lookout Valley historian. Basically, this cemetery started in the 1830s, and you had a little community that was right below an area called the Suck on the Tennessee River. And it was a ferry because the Suck was very rapid and very nasty. Now, this is actually the last little piece left. Uh, this area also played an important role in the Cherokee removal from eastern Tennessee. Uh, and basically, you know, the road to Kelly's Ferry were part of the Trail of Tears. So we're going to go down here and we are going to take a look and see what's left of this cemetery. Come on, folks. Let's take a look and see what we can see today. Well, after walking down this road a little bit, we've got a couple of different options. There's a gate right here. and I mean, it's actually got stone things on it. So we can either take that one, or we can go up over here. I'm gonna have to take a closer little look and see what we can figure out. Now that must have been a light at one point, and that is definitely interesting. And we've gone past the, gone past that little gate, and there's the cemetery. Now, as we walk up in here, you can definitely see, as I try to work my way around some of this, there are definitely graves right up in this area. I think we are on the bottom part of that now. Oh Lord. Well, somebody keeps coming down here. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see this. There are definitely a lot of little graves sprinkled around and there's a fence up there too. But we're gonna take a look. Ronnie Eugene Redman. Looks like maybe 1954. And you can see, we're gonna wander down in through there and take a look. There are more graves down that way. Man, there are little I can read Hartman. That. So this may be, yeah, they're all Hartmans in this area. You can see more going off in that direction. Man. It definitely has been a while since somebody has been in here. And there's a big, there's a big monument down here. Let me work my way over there and we'll check it out here in a minute. So on top of the big one, there's a whole grouping of them right here. We'll try to, uh, and it looks like there's some smaller ones in this area but let's walk around and see if i can't see the name oh it's a stonemason sacred to the memory of john kelly Died November 26, 1845. Age 66 years, 5 months, and 24 days. There's something you don't see very often. These look a lot older. And I will try to get the camera down to some of these guys, but I don't know how well... James Hall, 1855. This one's been broken and reset. And I can't even remotely read that. That's been faded too much. Can't read that one either. It's also getting dark because 
rain has started. So if you hear pitter-pattering, Ignatius Hall, uh, 1888, and born in 1799. James Foster, 1911. And we know that one's one. So these appear to be, are they all Fosters? Yeah, that's Foster. James Foster. Yeah. Jesse November Foster. Uh, Ether Nolan Foster. So these are all, these are all Fosters. And there's another one that looks like there's a lamb on that one down there. I really can't see the where the edge of the cemetery is delineated. I mean, there's there's a road down here, but and there's the road right there, and I'm guessing the road was to go to somebody else's property. I'm not 100% sure that one has a lamb on it, but I don't know. Ouch. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that one. I really can't see the edge of this. Alex, do you even know like where the edges of this are? Or is it just kind of I think it's spread just out? Because kind of as you look, the eye gets caught by headstones all over the place. The That's another Nolan, N-O-W-L-I-N. 1884, that's another Nolan, so this section must be the Nolans, and then, I don't know about, I don't know about that one. You can see a little torch too, but, ah, uh, yeah, I can't read that one. All right, well guys, let's, let's work our way over that way a little bit more. Now, I may be mispronouncing names and not saying correct names and whatnot. If you want to know who is actually buried here, then you can either hit the Hamilton County, or is it Marion County? It's actually the Hamilton County. Hamilton County Genealogical Society may have it, and find a grave probably does too. And people have been here and actually documented the, uh, the people that have been buried here, at least as far as they can. Uh, That's a right up there. That's a oh, Lord. There's a wall right there, so be careful, Alex. That's Hartman. Eighteen seventy-four. Mary Sexton. There's Private John Sexton. World War. And then this one looks like it's been fixed. Because it definitely was cracked at some point. That's a John different. Sexton. That's a Confederate grave. Yep, that is a Confederate grave buried here. And not elsewhere. There's something McNabb, Curie McNabb. I can't read that one. I mean, there are literally right headstones. There are literally headstones everywhere. That's the cool thing about editing. Okay, and these are definitely getting into the older ones that are... You can see these little stones. You can see the bigger stones. And they are just too worn for people to read. Oh. Hartman, another Hartman. So this is buried in 1895 and buried in 1913. Lord, I hope that that's not, I hope that that's not a, but yes it is. It's either a pile of headstones or this is where other family members tried to build a little, a little something. Oh, I know I'm trying to work my way up there. We're gonna get oh we're gonna get into this fenced in spot in a minute, but I'm trying to work my way over here. This is just such an odd layout of a cemetery, and it may just be due to the fact of how overgrown it is. Mm -hmm. 
Jerry Lee. And we're getting kind of close and up to the road. And you can see Okay, that's a bunch of briars. I'm not going to go over in there, but you can see that there are headstones over in that area. So we're going to, and there's a big headstone over here. I'm going to duck underneath this fence and see who's in here. Fenced in areas usually delineate a specific family, so I'm going to try to work my way over here. And of course, I brought all this with me. Anderson. Matt and Judy Anderson. So I'm guessing that, oh, I'm guessing that this is the Anderson area. I mean, I just can't get, I can't read those. Larry, Kerry. G. No, I don't. I can't. And it's too overgrown on the other spot. Well, you can see that there's some other fence in the areas. Now I'm going to work my way back out. Probably go around that way. So I'll be with you guys in a minute. Jesse Anderson, Tennessee. Nineteen thirty-seven. So that may be a that may be a military person too. I'm not a hundred percent sure. It, looks like a military marker. it does look like a military marker. Uh, and then here's more Hartman. It looks like at least some of the families have cleared out a little bit, but there's just. I mean, you can see that there. There's a significant amount of overgrowth. I'm guessing that the cemetery probably ends over there. This one says, Our Baby. So I am guessing that that is a infant. Rosie or something. Our Baby. And looking under bushes and stuff, you can still see all of these really small headstones and they're just they're just everywhere so it's very hard to avoid that's another Anderson oh lord it looks like yeah there's even more up in here getting close towards the road huh There's pots in here. Billy Sue Powers. 1963, so that was a baby. So guys, you'll have to look up. Yeah, that's Powers too, so I'm assuming that I'm in the power section, but guys, you'll have to look up and see when the last folks were buried here, I know that it hasn't been an... Oh, I'm not going to be able to make it over there. That's all in briars and stuff. And you can see that there are still more headstones. And then outside of that little fenced-in area, we have more powers. So 1927 Jesse Powers. So they must have, they must have run out of space. Okay, well, let's go take a look over in this one Anderson Hicks this might be another Newsom yep so this is the Newsom little plot and I will try to work my way through but this one's very heavily overgrown Oh, 
sorry about that. That's some briars. Okay, well, somebody's planted a really pretty bush right on top of that. And then May, Mamie, I can't read that one. When it's starting to rain, guys, I'm going to have to cut this short. Well, everybody, I'm sorry to cut this short, but the rain has well and truly come in. Hope you've enjoyed our little look at the Kelly's Ferry Cemetery. What a beautiful place. I'll have to come back here in time and see if somebody can clean this place out because this has got a ton of history here. Anyway, I am off to go on some more journeys. Until then, why don't you go on a journey of your own? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.